Hello everybody, my name is Leo and welcome to a new tutorial by Blau Films. Today we have something pretty fun, something I'm pretty excited to share with you. We recently just released a 150 plus industrial decals and sticker pack. During the production of Syntactic Labyrinths, I've been needing these industrial stickers, but I've noticed that online you can mostly find a lot of variation when it comes to sci-fi oriented sticker packs, but nothing that feels as badly designed as real life. So over the past few months I've gone around and I've photographed about every single thing that I found on home appliances and, and pharmaceutical labels and whatever I could find and I redesigned them and bundled them in this pack. You can follow along with this tutorial even if you don't have this pack. This is just going to be covering a few techniques on how to add decals to your objects in Cinema 4D. Now the way that decals work is that you basically just need a diffuse channel and a alpha channel. So for example over here we have this construction machine diffuse channel which is just a flat pass with the color information and then we have a alpha channel which is a black and white version of that same image which is just in this case excluding the corners over here. Now whatever decal you're using just make sure you have these two channels go into Photoshop and select the area that you want to keep and fill it with white and make the rest black and that would be your alpha channel. Now let's take a look at something a little bit more interesting. I've got this scene set up over here with a skateboard design that is simply spinning around, nothing too fancy but I'm going to clutter it with basically as many stickers as I can. So how do you get a flat sticker following the shape of this skateboard? Well, first of all, I'm going to jump out of the camera and I'm going to turn off the Corona Sun to make sure that we get a better idea of what we're looking at. And the answer is already up here on the right. It's this shrink wrap deformer that basically works almost like magic when it comes to adding decals to random surfaces. So down here I have five decals imported already. As you can see, I've named each of the layers by the dimensions of the decals that I'm importing. So I guess we'll create five more of these assets and I'll drag and drop them in and you'll see how it works. So I'm duplicating that layer five more times because I want to keep the reflection settings and I really just want to be changing the diffuse and the opacity channel. Inside of my folder, we just choose one. Let's take this uh, Caution for lithium batteries, and we're going to search for its corresponding alpha channel. The resolution is 7x9, and we'll move on to the next one. Let's load something else in. There you go, a liquid propane warning. That's 12 by 3.56. And now let's get the liquid propane alpha. There you go. The next thing we will have to do, we'll have to create five new planes with matching dimensions to the ones of the stickers. I will simply do that by creating a plane, duplicating it once, twice, three, four, five. There you go. I think I got six. There you go. Now the first one is going to be seven by nine. The second one will be 12 by 3.56. The next one is going to be 10 by four. I will select all of them and I'm going to roughly align them to the surface of our skateboard or whatever object you're working with. Just make sure it's kind of there. Nice. And I will start applying from right to left, from bottom to top. Great. Let's have a look at this first one. I'll take the shrink wrap layer, which is under the former shrink wrap. And inside of it, you have a target object. Now, the target object is in this case, it's the skateboard deck. 
My skateboard bottle has a split in the middle for uh, some texturing reasons, but what I did is I've taken front side acrylic, which is the top layer, and I've put it into the shrink wrap deformer. What we need is a source, which would be our plane. So we just drag and drop the shrink wrap inside of the plane, and there you go. Now what you have is that the sticker has now taken the shape of the underlying model. You can just move this around and as you can see it pretty nicely stays on to whatever it is that we're doing. So let me move it up here, put it to the side a bit and give it a very slight offset. Bump it down a bit. see what it is we're actually doing. Uh, I think I might rotate it horizontally. Perfect. Now on to the next one. We turn on our liquid propane layer. I'm going to scale that one down to about 70%. I might actually scale this one down as well. Oh yeah, that looks nice. So take the second copy of our shrink wrap and drag it underneath the plane. If we move closer, there you go. It's moving along. Perfect. Basically that's it. That's all the information you need for this tutorial. But I'll just continue finishing off this composition, trying to make something that looks pretty interesting. And then I'll show you the end result. Now one of the things that's nice to mention is that if you look inside of my shrink wrap layers, I haven't actually put the deformer strength to 100%. The reason why I do that is that when it's at 100, it's perfectly aligning with the layer underneath. And sometimes, depending on if you're exporting an animation, that could create some clipping where in some frames your sticker is shining through on top and on some frames it will be underneath your object. Now by putting it to 95%, it stays almost perfectly on target, but it also creates a little bit of a depth in there that on some angles creates that, that thickness of the sticker. Now after you've created all the stickers, the one thing you want to do is you want to drag these planes inside of the null object you have with all the other things related to your stickered object. So when you have a animation on there, everything will stick perfectly. I will continue by adding a few more at the bottom and then I'll hit render. I'll show you the end result and uh, that's it. Then we'll be wrapping it up. All right, hell yeah, that's it. I hope this shrink wrap plus decals technique was helpful to some of you. Be sure to check out my industrial sticker pack if you need anything ranging from medical stickers to electronic stickers to anything found on the street. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned for a lot more videos coming soon. We're releasing two short films. There's a trailer dropping for another short film, and there will be some more tutorials, a lot of good stuff coming up, I'm very excited, and uh, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, share, comment, ask me if there's something you want to see, like a new tutorial, and uh, thank you very much, talk to you soon, bye bye.